Clicker and pick up your liquor. It's time for Ed's Night Party! Starring me, Ed the Sock, and my co-host, the Anna Kay, and featuring DJ James Stamos. Tonight! Hey, it's okay to admit she turns you on. She finally turned 18! I spent some backstage time with my newly legal buddy, Hillary Duff. Plus, these two hotties eat up our hot tub. That's respect, or people being forced to clap. Either way, it sounds like respect. And that's all I care about, because it's TV. And all we care about is what it seems like, not what's real, right? Yeah! Yeah! God bless perception. And now, please welcome my co-host, the leading lady of late night, Leanna Kay. Leanna! <laughs> some sort of Betty. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Awesome, you yeah. figured it out. Here's the weird thing, though. Yeah. Is that, okay, the theme tonight, I'm reading on the piece of paper, yeah. the theme is, uh, like, Betty and Veronica. Yes, well, and that's what we start with. That's never where we finish. No, no, because for once, you're dressed like the theme, and the girls aren't evoking the theme for me. They don't well, look too Betty and Veronica. Well, I they look good, but I don't remember Veronica ever wearing something like that. I think this is what most people assume Veronica wears when she's not at school. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think that's what, that's what Mr. Weatherby wears when he's not at school. But the thing is, yeah. well, I read about that we were doing this Archie theme, mm -hmm. this Betty and Veronica theme, so I started reading some Archie comics to sort of get researched. Sure. I'm reading Archie comics, and I'm realizing one thing. Mm -hmm. Archie must have a massive cock. Okay. Just massive. Okay. Because, okay, let's face it, he's got Betty and Veronica, two of the hottest chicks, and then Cheryl Blossom joins in. Yes. Three hot chicks yeah. chasing after him. Okay. He's at best average looking. He's at best an average student. He comes from a lower middle class background. Okay. He really has nothing to recommend him to have women chasing after him unless he's got a massive member. You know, I have never thought about Archie Comics. Well, I'm just thinking Betty and Veronica. Mm -hmm. Which one did you like better? Neither. I, I never got into Archie. It was always like flip, flip. Yep, still sucks. Where's the Spider Man? But Betty was so nice. There's absolutely nothing to recommend her. But you know that Veronica takes it right up the ass. <laughs> and you've determined this based on? Uh, experience. Okay. Wasn't the same artist also the guy that did Josie and the Pussycats? Yes. Now they were taking it up the ass. Josie and the Pussycats? Yeah. How do you think they got gigs? They couldn't play worse shit. Okay, this conversation is just uh, veered into the territory of the absurd, so there's no point in continuing. Hey, everyone has their own opinions. Uh, oh, no. I think this is very you. No, no! <laughs> now I look like Fred from Scooby-Doo. There you go. This isn't staying, right? Yes, it is. No, please get rid of it. No. Fine, I'm not bothered by it then. We'll just continue. Excellent. All right. Uh, now, you seem awfully perky. <laughs> Do I? Yeah, well, not in that way. No, they I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm faking it. But, uh, well, we're going to fix you from faking it. Oh? Yes, because the professor has a new product. Oh? Yep. Uh, he's you know, been we walking... Get, what? We always get free stuff on the show, you know what I mean? Well, we. We. Me, yeah. You always get free stuff, and I hear about it much, much later. Anyways, they send them some yeah, anyways. New, uh, energy bars, right? Called uh, Mad Dog. And I don't drink coffee, but this these bars are basically like kicking every bite like slamming two cups of joe and so i'd love to try these i haven't well you haven't tried it no i haven't tried it wait tried you mean it. there's something going around you haven't put in your mouth <laughs> yeah oh okay, well, you're I, falling I, behind i do feel sorry for you i have to take that oh, off thank you very much there you go i knew i'd wait you out yeah pity works every time yeah i'm right again anyway um are you okay 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 Trying okay no no this is too much this hippie thing <laughs> How many miles must a man walk? <laughs> All right. Uh, so you ready to try this uh, caffeine bar then? Yeah, uh, I guess good? so. Are you up for the good. challenge? Yes. Uh, well, I'm uh, sure. I'm up. All right. Oh, here you here's go. One. There oh. you go. Kick in the espresso. 
Mm. I'm guessing that that's what it's going to feel good. like on the way out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you're sampling this caffeine bar? I am. I don't know if this is a good idea, a bad idea. I think this is a very bad idea. Really? Yeah. Keep doing it then. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll teach you for putting a thing around my head. <laughs> the answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Who is that supposed wind. to be? Huh? Who is that supposed to be? That's every folk artist. They all sound the same, like reggae artists. I thought you were doing Bob Dylan, but I don't think he did that song. Yeah. He's the original for Mr. Tambourine Man. I did not know hey, that. Hey, Mr. See, okay, now I know what you're doing. Man, man. Song for me. Okay, enough of the singing. Uh, okay, so you, you're eating that little caffeine bar, uh -huh. packing it away, uh -huh. and uh, why don't we uh, get some more high energy injected into the show, Woo! which always comes from our hot tub, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, why don't we meet the uh, ladies that are going to be in the tub, Tess and Pamela. Woo! Take it off of me. Yeah, How are you doing over there in the back. tub? I'm having a heart attack. Why are you having a heart attack? <laughs> uh, I had one of those bars. Oh, you had a caffeine bar? <laughs> Leanna, I'm pleading with you. Please don't eat it. It's it's scary, <laughs> scary. It's a lost cause. Once something goes in her mouth, she's going to swallow. <laughs> oh, that's true. I should know her better than that. Do we have any Epicac on hand? <laughs> it has a few levels of flavor to it. I've heard it that starts, before, too. Yeah, starts off chocolatey. Then it becomes like, you know, caramelly mm. peanut. Then it starts tasting a little bit like cleaning products. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes me wonder. I like them. No, I need them. Please. Please. But for the record, it does come out the same way. All right. <laughs> Pamela, how are you? Whee! Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Getting hot. You're getting hot? Yeah. You were hot when you walked in, young lady. Oh, thank you. So, uh, Pamela and Tess, yes. are you uh, ready to meet the gentleman who's going to be in the tub? Yes. Actually, right. this oh, worked out perfectly because yeah. he actually looks a bit like Archie. This is an interesting story because, uh, you know, people get to be in the tub by sending an email to editedthesock.com and giving me a good reason we should put you in the tub. Mm -hmm. And uh, this email came not from this gentleman but from his girlfriend. Yes. Usually it's the girlfriends or significant others who don't want them in the tub. Yes. In this case, the total opposite, a young lady named Ashley emailed me and said she wanted to get her boyfriend, Ken, in the tub. And how could we refuse that kind of thing? And so please welcome Ken. Yeah. There, Ken. Good, Ed. How are Good. you? Anybody ever mention you look a bit like Archie? Yeah, a lot. Hey, better than being told you look like Jughead. <laughs> so tell me a bit about you, Ken. What is it you do for a living? Uh, I work for a plumbing company. Do you do actual plumbing or do you just like handle pipes, much I... like uh, the girls in the tub? <laughs> <laughs> I do the actual plumbing. Do you? <laughs> what made you want to be a plumber? Uh, I used to work for making donuts, so it's anything better than that. Well, you've had quite a range of career options. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, DeVry. Uh, how, okay. What's the deal with plumber bum? Yeah, do you have plumber bum? Uh, not necessarily. No, but you can make it if uh, upon request. Is that what you're saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I don't understand. You just, like, does it get so breezy back there you just don't know it's happening? Because, I mean, you'd think that, I mean, I can squat all I want. I'm going to know if my pants are breezy. I mean, yeah, I can pretty much feel if that's a problem. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Can you stay there the rest of the show? She's like a bunny. Boy, oh, she does some boy, things boy. like bunnies, I'll bet. Um, thank you for that, Leanna. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Ken, are you happy that your girlfriend planned this out for you? She must be a very liberal young lady. Oh, yes, for sure. Yeah? Tell us about your girlfriend. She's a hottie. <laughs> okay, and why? Go ahead, why? <laughs> Explain, I like detail. Well, she's small, that's, that's the way I like it. <laughs> really? She's also small in expectations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
right, how about a hand for Ken? bar update? Yeah, yeah, how you feeling? All of a sudden, my shoulder just went ping and my whole arm started tingling. So <laughs> Wait, this is only the beginning. Yeah. Oh my God, you're in for a party. You know what? Anyway. We, uh, on second thought, we should have maybe had some kind of first aid kit on hand. <laughs> Epicac and, and EpiPens. Like, it's going to be Uma Thurman and Pulp Fiction. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look much. at those. <laughs> Wait, am I doing the mouse ears thing? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Should I just stay here the whole show? I would have no objection. Yeah. yeah! All right. Ow. Oh, shit. oh, come on, like the back of your head hasn't had pressure before. I'm hearing voices again. I think it's the caffeine bar. So why don't we go to a break and we'll have to hose her down and we'll be back with more on Ed's Look Night Party. Sparkles. The caffeine charge division. Stick around. Stick around, Ed Head's coming up. She's young, she's hot, and she's rich. If only she got married as recklessly as Britney, I could be Mr. Hillary Duff by now. Plus, more hot water hijinks in our wank tank. So stay tuned. Hey, Ed Head, to get your hands on an exclusive signed Leanna calendar, Ed Puppets, and other great crap, visit edthesock.com. took a dive and out came the color towards my face oh. and my hair and I was hit. Look at me! <laughs> All right. Well, Texas, not hot. This is probably not the first time something has erupted in your face. Yeah, but, but at least that was, you know, washable. You can't wipe this, this off. This doesn't come off. Yeah, the girls, by the way, are making snow cones tonight. But anyway, I have a better idea. What? For snow cones. Here. I want Since it's cone. his birthday, I thought we should give him some nip-ons. Okay. So stand up. Stand up. When did oh, it boy. Oh, right, right. Take this wasn't the idea for the snow cone birthday. maker, but hey, Happy improvise. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. There, that's another present. Wait, wait, back. Happy birthday to you. All right, and we've got a new dancer on the show. We oh, should say hello right. to. Uh, young lady just joining us for the first time tonight. Um, her name is Lori. Hello, Lori. Hello, Lori. <laughs> now, in, in filling out the uh, questionnaire, there's a question. The most surprising thing about me is, and you said, under your skirt. That's right. What's under your skirt that's so uh, surprising? My granny thong. You're, you have your granny thong? I have a granny thong you know, on. I came didn't unprepared. Didn't she ever think about passing on her spoon collection or something? Look at this Her china thong. setting? You got your grandma's thong? No, she passed on her poon collection. What's wrong with the thong? <laughs> what, is too much of it? Yeah. Actually, those are very uncomfortable. Okay, look at the size of the strapping on Lori's hip. Yes, right. everybody look. Yeah. Compared to this. Oh my God, that's, okay. that's dental floss. That's comfort. Uh, okay, so yeah, I can hook this around your head. Oh my God. Okay, here's the question. You're getting a lot of slack on that. How far is that up your ass right now? 
You're going to need the plumber to find it. I think I'm going to need a proctologist to find it yeah, is what I'm going to need. Right. She's got that extra caffeine strength going. So, Lori, we want to welcome you to the show. Thank you, Ed. And uh, you're welcome to keep shaking your ass as much as you'd like. Okay, let's go to this week's Close Encounter. Yeah. Alexander the Great conquered the world before he was 25. Big deal. Hillary Duff did it before she was 18. TV, movies, music, clothing. And now that she's legal, she can branch off into adult novelties. But she's been my buddy since she was 16, so it's kind of creepy talking about her all sexual like. Well, look who I'm here with again. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Oh, come on, let's not be so formal. A little Hollywood kiss. Oh. There you go. Side. There you go. I'm so impressed you put on a new shirt today. Well, what do you think? I, you think that in between I, seeing you, I don't change my clothes? No. Well, what well, we'll give you that impression? Do I, have, do I stink? When I, oh, wait, it's the cigar. Yeah, but you don't smell too bad today. All right, so now you're 18. You got a boyfriend. Um, is this something you're enjoying? Do you like all that scrutiny? It now, bugs me. It does bug you? Yeah. Because your life is your life. Yeah. You should have a little bit of life to yourself, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Nobody talks about when you and I go out for dinner, nobody, you know. I know, why is that? We uh, go out every single time I mention it. I know, her. and nobody's mentioned it. No one has never been in the tabloids. I, I've called no the paparazzi. paparazzi, no one shows up. Ed. Well, they think I'm lying. Would you believe me? So what part of your job don't you like? Um, I guess just all the, all the, um, all the magazines, I guess, all the things that like people want to know about that can't be just private. Now, I've read some interviews in those teen magazines. I can't believe they waste their time asking some of those questions. You ever get those questions and just, of course, you're very composed, but you're thinking, why are you wasting my life? I'm never going to get this 30 seconds back. Why do you care what I had for breakfast? Yeah, I do sometimes. But what are you doing buying those teen magazines anyway? How Research! It's all research. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell the tax guy anyways. Ah, uh, so you write them off? Yeah! Oh, God. What do you mean? Like, you don't, oh yeah, like I'm the only guy that's ever done that. Is this a work shirt? That's why you bought yeah, this, this is, new shirt? Yeah, I had to buy this shirt. That's the only reason you. you bought a new shirt. That's so right, it's a tax write-off. Write Everything's a tax write-off. Come on, you talk to your accountant. He knows. So all those times you took me out to dinner, were those business dinners? Well, no, they meant more to me than business dinners, but you in the out. end, they did become business dinners. Hey, you're the big star. I'm still in Canada. You can afford to go over those nice dinners. I gotta find some way to make it pay. <laughs> Right? I guess. Don't be offended. That's your problem, not mine. You're right. You see, there's differences. My problem, your problem, and somebody else's problem. And your problem isn't my problem. <laughs> I, I didn't tell you I had any problems. No, I didn't say you had any problems. Why are you getting on me? She's getting older. She's getting, getting, getting mean to me. Have I been rubbing off on you? <laughs> Maybe I've learned a little bit from you. Yeah, because, you know, you were always so nice and quiet before and, and, and happy to see me. And now you're, like, running me over the coals. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm just being honest. Yeah, that's exactly. Running me over the coals. I'm in show business. I'm not used to honesty. So, uh, what's next? What do you really want to do next? I would love to surprise my sister and take her on vacation for her birthday with our friends. Really? Yes. Now, can I go with? No. Because that would really surprise her. Really? No. I, I, see your I don't sister. want you to go. I see your sister a lot at magazines and stuff, and you're doing projects with her, and, and she's a little closer to my age. I'm she thinking, hates cigar smoke. Oh, well, you know, that can be, you know, people learn to compromise in relationships. You just want to get an interview with her. Well, you just want to talk to her. I want to go for dinner with her. And then write it off. Well, can you get off that? Just forget about that. It's still a pleasant dinner. So just think about it. You, you, and and and, and your your boyfriend, and me, and your sister. You know, family dinners. Hey Ed, pass the turkey. No problem. What do you think? You have no arms. We've already talked about that. Uh, all right, fine. Be literal. All right, just think about it. Okay. All right. Okay. And, it, and it's good to see you. It's good to and see you. And when me. you start doing like stuff by Duff for like you know guys my size. Okay. I hope to get some freebies. By the way, speaking of freebies, here I got something for you. <gasps> You can always oh keep this gosh. close to your heart. Oh, this is awesome. There you go. I wish it was like, um, you had some something girly on. You wanted me to have something girly? Well, you see, it's like so a Barbie. So next time I come back, I want you to have a pink shirt on or something. Well, it's, it's like a Barbie. You take it home and dress it the way you like. Okay. All right? Give me a hug. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank All right, bye. <laughs> see ya. Bye. Hey, Ed Heads, if you'd like to send a message to me, Leanna, or for some reason to scientists, 
Email us at our addresses on screen. And if you'd like to be in the hot tub or in the audience, email info at edthesock.com. surgical mask. Uh, oh, well, I'm certainly going to use it like that after the show. All right, how are things over in the tub? Excellent. Yeah, Ken, you enjoy this special gift from your girlfriend? Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Yeah? All <laughs> right. Well, it's something you can tell the guys back at the plumbing store, wherever the hell you hang out. <laughs> Tess and I wanted to know if you had a birthday wish, Ken. Yeah, I'd take them home and uh, do some plumbing my own. <laughs> Don't you think you should ask your girlfriend in the audience? Yeah, can she hold a camera well? <laughs> okay, good. All right. Here we go, let go. Okay, okay. Um, so for the caffeinated Leanna, uh, I'm at the spot, and like I always say, I'd rather be a smartass than a dumbass. If you have anything good to say, say it often. Good night. <laughs>